Okay, everybody, so here's my new uh, counter. There's the information for everybody, the version. You can check this out on the uh, web if you want. Well, there you go, everybody. There's uh, Silk's information. You can contact them if you want to purchase one of these counters. These are the same counters you see them using in uh, Fuck You Shima. I'm just trying to see. There was. There you go. There's all the uh, information. So I have version 1.0. It's in Sieverts, English. Uh, let me see. There you go. There's the micro Sievert information. It's at 30. Micron, I don't know even how to pronounce that. It's in the book. But you see, it's 0 0.3 micro sieverts per hour. That is what I'm measuring at for everybody asking questions. Okay, and you see, this one not only has a radioactivity tester, but it also has the nitrate tester. So it's the exact same as the old one you see me using. Just it has the nitrate tester, which I'll show you in a minute. But uh, what I did want to show you, this is the book. Now, it's in Russian, because it did come from Russia as well. The, both these counters were ordered at the same time. Here's a certification stating that it's been tested and calibrated. Uh, again, it's in Russian. But there is a certification stamp on it. So, for anybody wondering, uh, I never did this. You guys saw me open it on video and stuff, my last counter. But this one here, I can actually take a video while I think of it and show you the actual uh, certification that uh, it's not just a cheap Geiger counter. This is the exact same thing you'll see them using on the news. So I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, if radiation background exceeds 0 0.4 microsieverts an hour, you need to look for the reasons of this exceeding. Hmm. If radiation background exceeds 1.2 microsieverts per hour, it is not recommended to stay in this place. It may be dangerous. Sorry, I'm reading through the viewfinder. So there you have it. Everybody's looking at the readings of the drain saying, oh, it's nothing. Well, that's not what they say in Russia. And here's uh, some more information for you. Wow. There's a difference in them. All right, just wanted to share that. One. Here are the specifications. But I will go back up to the ranges. All right, so we're going to check a locally grown tomato. Now I want to check lemon and a grapefruit but they're not on here so maybe I'm missing a, a setting I'm not sure but I know sorry I'm reading through the uh, viewfinder I know it definitely has tomatoes in here
Oh, there we go. Okay, I don't want green tomatoes. Okay, so, okay. Enter. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. Again, this is a locally grown tomato. There you go. Looks like we're uh, good to go with my locally grown tomato from a few blocks away. So that's good news. I'm happy about that. All right, so that's the new uh, target counter. And I'd like to give a shout out and a thank you to my good brother, uh, 808 Pathfinder. He's on my YouTube channel. He's another uh, anti fuck you Shima activist. And uh, he's actually the one that got me started with the Geiger counter. So, uh, again, I traded my uh, Geiger counter and a transmitter for uh, the bigger version that you see. Uh, reporters and all the scientists using uh, right now in Japan. This is the one you'll see. So uh, I'd like to thank them and uh, I'm enjoying it and I hope it uh, helps the videos. Alright, see you in the next tests.